Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today we are going to solve an example of weak form or Ritz method. So let's look at the differential equation. U is displacement and the domain of x is from 0 to 1. And the given boundary conditions are that displacement at one end and the other end is equal to zero which means that the bar is or the road is fixed from both of the ends specifically we can say that we have essential boundary conditions because the primary variable is fixed on both ends so this is the given information about the differential equation the domain and the boundary conditions now we have to solve the differential equation we have to approximate the solution of this differential equation by Reed's method or weak form. So the very first step in it is to write its weighted integral with the weight function and residual in it. That is, so this is the integral in which we have to plug the values. That is from 0 to 1. That is the domain given. W is the weight function and R is the residual. And we know the definition of residual. So from the given differential equation, we can write the residual here. So the differential equation will become this that is equal to zero as per the given differential equation. Here w is a weight function and we have the residual in here. So we can write this thing as as the integral is linear so we can write the integral in this form. And we have to do the integration by parts on this only because the differential is in this part won't need to do the integration by parts on this and this because there is no differential of the displacement here we only have to do the integration by parts on this part and we know this is the first function and this is the second function so after doing integration by parts we have we have this as these two terms are same so we can write this taking this term on this side of the equation. So we have this side and this side. In this side we have both weight function and the displacement function but here we only have the weight function. So usually this type of function that have both weight and displacement function is known as bilinear function and that is represented by this and here this type of function that have only weight function is known as the linear function. In the weak form we know that we have an assumption, basic assumption, that the weight function is approximated by the shape function. We have to plug these approximations into the bilinear and linear function. This implies that we have, and that is equal to the stiffness matrix Kij, and that is approximately equal to the load vector Fi. And now we have to assume what should be the phi node and phi i's. And now we have to assume what should be these shear functions according to the conditions we have discussed in the previous videos. But again I'm recalling that the, the selection procedure of these shear functions is not unique. So you may end up having different shear functions than me. But as far as they fulfill their conditions, we are good. So let we have phi naught is equal to 0 and phi i is equal to x i 1 minus x. I am leaving this to you to check that these two functions fulfill their requirements or not. Let's proceed further. We know that the capital U that is the approximate solution of the differential equation is equal to summation Summation Cj phi j plus phi naught, where j is equal to 1 to n. So let's suppose we have n is equal to 1. Then we have u is equal to C1 phi 1 plus phi naught. So here, by plugging 1 in i, we can write that c1 x into 1 minus x and phi naught is equal to 0. So here 
what we have to find c1 c1 is the unknown parameter that we need to find in order to figure out the value of u and now how we can find the value of c by using these relation of the stiffness matrix and the load vector that is can we can figure out the value of the parameter by using this relation so the kij is the bilinear form so here we have we have to rewrite this by plugging phi i in place of w and phi j in place of u so this and this will become this so because there is only one node that we have assumed that n is equal to 1 so phi i and phi j would be same because if n is equal to 1 so for the we have to we have 1 cross 1 k matrix that is the stiffness matrix and only 1 cross 1 for this load vector so i and j both have same value because we have only 1 cross 1 matrix that's why phi i is equal to phi j that is equal to by this x into 1 minus x so plugging these values here we got this is for k11 because i and j are 1 so k11 is equal to this thing that taking the derivative of x1 minus x and that was i and j are same so we have to take the derivative of 1 and we will square them and here we have to write x1 minus x 2 times uh, x square 1 minus x with the domain of 0 to 1 after solving this we will have the value of k11 is equal to minus 3 by 10 so you can check by solving it and the same for this then plugging the value of phi i and x square by this we can get the value of f1 is equal to minus 1 by 20 so using the relation we can write the value of k that is minus 3 by 10 and the u that have the parameters and we have only one parameter so c1 and that is equal to the load vector that is minus 1 by 20 so left out with c1 is equal to minus 1 by 6 so plugging the value of c1 here minus 1 by 6 we have the approximate solution of the given differential equation now we can solve any differential equation with given domain and boundary condition to figure out the approximate solution of it with the ridge method or the weak form so this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye